you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where i'll be showing you the difference between an oblique cycle and an isometric cycle now when you talk in terms of isometric we know isometric circle or isometric block is always inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal just like this um, to draw my isometric circle i will draw let me just draw two planes this way the first plane in the direction you can see that and if i'm to draw my isometric circle it will be at an angle of what an angle of 30 degree in this fashion so I'll first of all draw the vertical line this way to represent the height you can see that and i'll draw the horizontal line this way to represent this hope you can see that so in terms of isometric the angle here is given as what as 30 degree given as what 30 degree all together now the next thing is if we were to draw an oblique right I will make use of my 45 degrees set square. When isometric, I made you of what? My 60 de 30 degrees set square, right? By drawing it this way. So in oblique, I'll do the same thing. I'll draw horizontal, right? And I'll use, and I'll draw the vertical line also. You can see that? Now I'll place it this way. And draw an angle of what 45 degree. So the angle between here and here is given to be what 45 degree. So this shows we are trying to draw in isometric. This is showing that we are trying to draw in oblique. Now let's assume that we are to draw a circle in a box. I will know a box, both the height and the length is the same. Am I correct? So I will just take my compass this way. And I'm going to measure any distance of a choice, depending on what is given. But for the benefit of this video, I'll be making it to be what? 70. From 0 to what? To 70. Can you see that? Hope we're good. From 0 to what? To 70. And I'll place it at this end. And I'm going to mark 70 to this point. And I'll mark 70 to this point. Hope you can see that. I'll come to that of the oblique too. I'm going to mark 70 to this point and I'll mark 70 to this point. You can see that? Now I'll make them form my box. For the isometric, remember, we make use of our 30 degree set square. So I'll take the 90 degree side and I'll draw a vertical line this way. Hope you can see that. And I'll fill my 30 degree side here. You can see that it is correlating with this. And I'll move it up and I'll get this this way. So successfully cutting our point A, point B, point C, and point D. Is that okay? Now, similarly, the same thing I'll do here, but now I'll be using it for what? My 45 degree. And I'll take this, I'll take this up, the 90 degree side. Up this way. I see that and I'll close it up this way. You can see that. So we still have here also we have A, point B, point C, and point D. Remember, this is a 45 degree, this is in what 30 degree. How good. Now the next thing you do, just the same procedure, you take half of each of them, right? So I'll take half of um, 
this you know that half of it is what 35 and i'll measure 35 on my meter rule from 0 to what 35 is half of 70 right you take half of the distance and i'll place it at this point i'll mark 70 see if here is 70 here also you need to make them correspond right so let me mark 70 properly from 0 here to 35 so if I at this point it's 70 we have this can see that if I place it at that same point too is 70 or so so I can call here to be my one this point to be my one here to be what my two I can easily come to this point and mark here also right and I'll come to this point also and I'll mark here also then know what you want to do so this is one two this will be three this will be what four so these are the center i will join them together i use my ruler or use my instrument here and connect them together you can see that i'm not connect them together you can see that they are meeting at the center here all together and i'll come here to i'll do the same thing take half of it also 45 from here to here then can you see that i mark this i'll mark here too i'll come here too i'll mark i'll come here too i'll mark so we've got in another one this is point one point two point three and point four remember this is for the oblique and then them simultaneously all good now you see the major difference now if i do the symmetric i'll connect join the longest diagonal the longest diagonal this is the longest diagonal you see that because from here to here is longer than from here to here that is what the longest diagonal all together and um, i'm going to take from b right i'll take from b connect it to point two i'll take from b also and connect it to point four so this is where they are meeting i'll call this point point b and i'll call this point point q you can see that now if i should move further if I place my compass at this point here, I'll take it to point four here at this point. Hope you can see that to this point. And I'm going to draw my circle. I'll come here also. I'll place it here. I'll do the same thing from three to one. I see that I'll come to Q. I'll close it up. Come to Q and I'll close it up. You can see that. Then I'll come to P, I'll close it up. You can see that. So this is my I can bring out this out. So that what we have this is an isometric circle at an angle of what 30 degree. Now let's now look at that of oblique. In oblique, what you should do is 
is a little bit different from this. You draw a line perpendicular from each of these midpoints. You see, I did not connect them together, unlike the way I connected this. So you will not connect this together. You will just draw a perpendicular line. This is how you draw oblique. You allow your any of your line your numbers here to coincide coincide with the line here and taking this point as a reference point. So I'm taking zero. I'm can you see zero is already coinciding with my point here. So I'm taking it inside. Can you see? I will come here also coinciding with this zero coinciding with this line here. Look at the zero here. Consider with the line taking my point as my reference point. Can you see that? And I'll do this to come in. in. So you ensure that they both join together. You'll be taking the two others and sides. So they are meeting here. So I'll call these points my point what? My point B. Right? I'll do the same thing for one again, ensure that it is coinciding with this horizontal line here. It should be that is to be at 90 degree. So I see that to be going in. Whatever you're doing will be going what? Going in. Right? And I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing here. So zero will be coincided with that line. You can see that. Then I'll draw from here, touching the other guy here. So this is where they are meeting. I'll call this point here, point Q. Hope you can see that. So I'll just take my compass and I'll place it at this point P. Then I'll take it to 4. So your measurement will be from 4 to what? To 2. All together, from 4 to what? To 2. You can see that I'll come again at this point Q and I'll do the same thing from this point here from 1 to 3. Can you see that? And at this point here, I can call it point what? Point W and point what? Point V. So from point W here, I'll take it to point 1. Right? And I'll come to point V. I'll do the same thing to from 4, I'll connect it to what? To 3. Right, so I should be able to take in that. This is what we have here. This is a circle in what in oblique, right? And a circle in isometric. Is that okay now? So, if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.